I am going to talk into the camera because I think it's more attractive. Unless, do I look cross-eyed? I can't tell. Um, anyway, it's all about being attractive. Um, if any of you people out there watching are not people on the site and who are just trying to break into the business, try to be att more attractive. It's really good for your career. Um, I think what we're talking about is... Uh, uh, the psychological, what psychologists and psychiatrists call reproducing yourself, which when you generate your own material and your own ideas and your own creative process and you have to, as in writing alone, you have to do all of that alone and by yourself, um, the, the only person who reproduces you, reproduces you, um, is you. And it can be very tiring and you also do not have the outside structure to exist in uh, where you you gain self-esteem by moving upward on that structure. And as, of course, in show business, we move laterally and sometimes backwards and sometimes down and sometimes up. It's like the great glass elevator. So um, there's really not a scale that tells us how we're doing. And uh, it's... It's very difficult. I think all of us, to a degree, uh, Phil excluded, because he just gets everything handed to him, right, Phil? Uh, we get to do a combination of where we are given jobs from outside people sometimes, and other times we are um, expected to generate our own work, which in my case is actually happens a lot. And then the work that I do get, which I enjoy, um, like podcasts and doing people's webisodes and um, sh stage shows and all that stuff, or even writing for Huffington Post, that's unpaid to a large degree. So as much as I enjoy doing it, it's nice to be paid for what you do. It is. Um, I'm at this writer's conference, and I'm surrounded by young people who are all talking about art and commerce, and uh, many of them are <laughs> deeply convinced that the only reason you should ever create anything, especially writing, is for art's sake, and that it should be the muse moving through you. And it's really making me think about when I was younger and how I had that same idealistic out outlook. I thought that that was the case. And now, of course, it's tempered by maturity and experience. I don't necessarily believe that that's always the case, but I think that it's causing a lot of, at least maybe Michael's issues, um, your issues, uh, where you feel like I, I, you are leading. A purely creative life. You are getting to write a lot of your own material and generate your own ideas. But there's something that that doesn't provide when you've been doing it for a long, long time. It doesn't provide as much satisfaction. You still need outside validation and maybe two million Twitter followers or whatever is not the outside validation that you need. Um, I understand what you're going through, but I'm trying to find satisfaction, not contentment, but satisfaction in by piecing together what I get from every area of my career. And my life, too. I don't know if this makes any sense. I'm just talking aloud. Um, I have to go to a cocktail reception now. Maybe I'll post something later that'll be a little jazzier. All right. Bye, you guys.